Hey yo, it's me, that MVP, Ropey30, and I'm bringing you another edition of Dat Brown's Odo. No, it's not called that. I just wanted to say that. What we are doing is taking another look into a new formation of our Browns offense that we're going through. And we're going back to our shotgun formation. And we are going to scroll over here to gun, tray, open, offset. That's gun, tray, open, offset. And what we like about gun, tray, open, offset is the fact that it has four plays we're going to run, two runs, two pass. And the way we like to run tray open offset is come out in wide trap, okay? And we'll come out in wide trap, and the way we like to run wide trap is we like to split the B gap and take it an, at an angle all the way towards the goal line. So split the B gap and just take it at an angle. When it is blocked correctly, Rolando McClain will not be coming free like that, so... See, he got clipped right there by Martin. He should have got, if Martin had picked up that block just a hair better, you could have got it even bigger. Oh, uh, we missed the B-gap. That's what happens when you have no stick. You miss the B-gap. So he's got that opened up and just take it right there. And I couldn't tell you how many times I've taken that for a touchdown, but that's exactly how you want to run it, right there. Let him get that B-gap and then just... Whole, uh, don't hit Excel until after all your blockers are engaged and then hit the acceleration and go. Go, go, go. It also helps when you put your best blocking wide receivers and tight end over here on the right side. When you load up on good blockers, then they will hold their blocks and people like uh, 51, which is Kyle Wilbur, I believe, will not be coming off, say, Jason Witten and getting that tackle. So, anyway. That's wide trap. Put, remember to put your best blockers in at wide receiver and at uh, tight end. Then we're going to audible to inside zone. Everyone ought to know inside zone is possibly the most overpowered run play in Madden this year. So, again, let your guys pick up their blocks and then hit the hole and hit acceleration about the same time as all your guys are blocked. Oops, that's wide trap. And this just gives you a different angle so if the defense starts over committing on the wide trap or you can come out in inside zone first and if they try and start over committing on inside zone you can swap it up and then just take it to the house take it take it to the house take it take it to the house so anyway basically that's our run game in a nutshell and now we want to go on to our passing game so we're going to audible over to pa reed r1 and pa reed is a really cool little play because it is a flood concept. All your guys are from the right side of the field or come to the left side of the field. So how we like to do that is we like to put Beasley on a streak to carry that deep blue up the field. And then we can hit these guys coming across the field with no one on the other side to stop us. So first we got a drag route that we miss because Matt Castle can't throw. So let's try that again. First we have a drag route. Right there. Good four yards. Uh, on your drag route, you're not going to get too many yards, but you're always going to be able to get a good four yards. So you can take that drag route and just overthrow it. I mean, overthrow it if you want. You don't have to catch it. But you're getting the gist here of what the drag route is all about. Four yards, and it's very hard to cover, and they're about to start having to commit. If you're, if you're playing a user, they're going to start bringing their user down and committing to stopping the drag route what we want them to do because that will open up your intermediate route very nice Bink. and your intermediate route like it see Morris Claiborne's in the end zone jacking with uh, Cole Beasley and he wasn't there to make a play because Cole Beasley is on a streak taking him away from the play if he was on that comeback that he comes out in he wouldn't Morris Claiborne be right there to tackle street once he got the ball so that is a reason we like to put that on there. And then you want to undercut your deep safety, your free safety. You can, you can throw that deep route once he crosses uh, both linebackers and undercut him with your user and pick that ball out, out, of the, out of the air. 
So watch. We're going to come across both, or just one, just one, sorry. We're going to come across Kyle Wilbur, who's one of our outside linebackers, our strong side linebacker, and we're going to pick that ball right out of the air. So you want to undercut the free safety. There he is. He's past the, past the uh, strong, strong side linebacker, and then we've undercut that free safety for a huge gain. So we're going to look at this one more time, guys. This is what it looks like stock. It's a play-action play with a comeback route. We take that comeback route, turn it into a streak, take play-action and block that halfback, and now it looks just like this. And you can hit any of the three routes at any given point in time. That's our favorite one to hit because it pisses people off because they think they have a shot at taking the ball. Well, they don't. All right. Our last route we're going to take a look at is one everyone's familiar with. Four verticals. One of the most overpowered routes in Madden. And what we like about four verticals is, yes, we know that all three of those routes blow away zone coverage. But we like for the guys to come out and start manning people up and running this against us. And why we do that is because all we do is take McFadden and put him on an option route and playmaker that option. So he's going to come out and we're going to playmaker that. And as you can see, we've just destroyed man coverage with just playmaker and our halfback. So they think they've got everything stopped with you running uh, PA read and then four verticals. But what they don't realize is we've been working on our playmaker ability and that was not supposed to go that way. I even He even lit up. I don't get it. Every now and again I have a no stick. Because <laughs> I sure thought that route would go that way. Here he comes. Boom. They can't stop us. I repeat, they can't stop us. Man coverage. Four verts. And boom. Here comes McFadden. You can't cover him. You can't cover him. One more time. Man coverage. Four verts. Here comes McFadden. No, we're getting hit as we're trying to throw the ball. Doug Free, dang it. Block your guy. Would you please block your guy? We're trying to make a video here. We're trying to show people something, and you're not blocking your guy. All right. Four verts, man coverage. Ooh! That's also why we really like to have a good catching, catching halfback. Four verts. Playmaker McFadden. Boop, boop, boop. So, again, you can't run man defense against a playmaker. So, I hope you guys enjoy this, and I hope Trey Open Offset works real well for y'all. Just put it into your scheme along with strong close and split close and you will be ahead of the competition. I'm Ropey30. You guys have a good day.